Hello guys, it is my iPod Touch Help here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your 3.1.2 uh, iPod Touch. Turn that down so you can see better. Um, just to prove I'm on 3.1.2, I'll show you right here. I just deleted my other video because you cannot see anything, so here we go. Let me turn that up a little bit actually. Um, put two Brightness, really. Alright. Let's see here if you can see that. Yes. For version 3.1.2, you see that right there? Okay. So I should show you that I'm not a little, you know, trying to break your iPod or anything. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download Black Drain Black Rain, I'm sorry, oh wait, is it Drain or Rain? Let me see here, Black Rain, okay so how to do that, you go to your internet your internet browser you're going to type in blackrain.com, whatever it looks up Black Rain with a one, dot com you can see this picture of this guy, he's the maker of the Black Rain. And you click gonna click this little icon down here. And then you just save it and then whenever you're done saving it, you set that off. Okay. Now it's time you get this little raindrop wherever you saved it. Okay, well first of all you're gonna have to plug in your iPod touch. Let me do that now. Okay, so he's made the software where it automatically put it into DFU mode, so you do not need to do that. Just show you I'm still on 3.1.2, there's no trickery here, you know, I'm not with trying to break your iPod touch or anything, I'm trying to help you all. Okay, so first of all you open it, click run, run, okay, okay, and this little box is going to come up here the easiest thing ever it says make it rain easiest little box that's all you have to do just one click and it's made by geohot guy is a genius i really gotta give it all the credit to him this is editing recovery and your ipod's gonna do this and it's gonna show his face okay it's gonna show that picture from the website and then up here just gonna say your jailbreak in, your jailbreak is done once once the phone reboots. This, if this is the simplest jailbreak, whatever, just donate. But yeah, it's pretty much awesome. And then you could just exit out of this. I think. Yeah. And then you see this little bar or this little circle down here. Guys, I've done this so many times to make make sure this video is right for y'all. I've done it like four or five times. Nothing has gone wrong for me that thing just goes away. Um, if you have a problem there will be a how to fix it in my video description so just look for that. And um, BB's iPod Touch help really helped me out with this one too. Um, I would never be able to do it without him so really go to him. He's a good guy you know. Really nice. Seems like. I don't know. Okay. So you know the iPod Touch takes a while for it to load up. And as you can see, you would do not lose your music or anything like that. Although I don't think I ever did have any music on mine in the first place. I might have. I don't think I did though. No, I took it all off to make sure there's room. But anyways, you'll see this little. You won't. Cydia will not be up on there for the first time. I just downloaded it already. Cydia, um, I see, or this new one down here called Rock will not be up on there. This little raindrop is all you're going to see. Black raindrop. You open that. This little box, or this little thing is going to come up. And this is how you know if it's jailbroken. If you, have, um, if you have your iPod or whatever, you flip through the pages and you see this icon right here. If you see that icon, then you know it's jailbroken. Okay? Right there. I'm sorry for the red dot, guys. It's just my camera does that. 
I don't know how to get rid of it. If you do, tell me, please. But, uh, anyways, you'll see. Please select to install apps. It's gonna say that right above these three little um, packages. First one, we all know Cydia. Second one, new one is called Rock. It says right under the description of it, it says cleaner and faster than Cydia. It says an auto backup item, item icons and plus access to Cydia and Rock Store for free. And then we sort of know IC. So you just click on the ones you want to install and then you'll see a little check mark right there. So if you want to install just one, um, you want to install Rock, or just install Cydia. Once you're done, click install up there. And then once your iPod restarts or whatever it does, you'll see Rock, that icon. It won't be there, it will be somewhere else. You'll see the Cydia and you'll see the IC. That's how you know if it's still broken or not. And um, Rock, I have used it for a little while and I will do a review probably tonight. So be ready for that. That's pretty much all you have to do. So guys, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And if you have any problems, message PM me or us, send me a comment down there and please subscribe over there and um, I'll see you guys later for another video goodbye